Hello, I'm your service rep. It's going to be showing you how to uh, remove and replace the brushes in a hydraulic motor. The bolts will already be loose because you've taken the motor off of the hydraulic pump. So I'll just slide these out of here. It's very important that you remove the ground bolt nut here because the bolt is part of the brush holder that's going to remain with the motor here. Now we can take the motor cap and just kind of walk it up slowly and just lean it over in the direction of the positive stud there. Now you can see all four of our brushes, how they all come in from four different angles. As we lift up the motor casing, we can take it off of the uh, armature and we get our three-quarter or our Phillips head screwdriver and unscrew the brush wire. Try not to lose those. And you can see how the brush cartridge will just slide right out of its slot. And you can take these out one at a time. And as you're doing that, replace it with the new ones and simply slide them back in place. Attach your wire. Now we're going to put the casing back onto the armature. The end cap will have a thrust washer in here. If it wants to fall out on you, make sure there's grease spread around in there so it kind of sticks in place. Then when you turn it over, you won't have to worry about it falling out. When you put your motor casing down over your motor, your brushes are going to be sticking in so far that they're going to be in the way. So you want to push those back and That one kind of slipped out a little bit. Push them back until you get them past the commutator. And that will allow the motor to go down. Sometimes you need a little screwdriver to help pry on them a little bit. You just go around in a circle, keep prying them back until they all fall into place. Slip the cap over top. And now we can put our ground stud washer and nut on here until we take it and put it back onto the pump. We'll have to take that off and put our ground wire on it. And that's what it takes. One of the tips that you want to know too is that the end of the motor has a slot in the shaft. The pump is going to have a tongue like a screwdriver. It would make it a lot easier for you if you reach into the pump and turn the shaft so that the slot is straight up and down and then when you put it onto your sawmill it'll slip on a lot easier.